G'day and welcome back to our Quit India campaign in Hearts of Iron. So at the moment, uh, this is our main front. We've got no manpower. We're so far behind. We're about uh, 700,000 manpower short. And also a bunch of guns. Uh, 50,000 infantry equipment short. I've uh, pulled back from the production of support equipment to boost this a little, but that's still a lot of days away. Um, we need more steel and... I've uh, stopped the aluminium import, but we still can't get more steel, which is annoying. Can't get it from anybody, so I don't know what the shortage is actually coming from. It would be this traded goods thing. 90 is leaving us with zero available for trade. United Kingdom, seven civilian factories, 456 steel is what we're spending it on. Yeah, whatever. Um, we're still trying to punch through to Vladivostok. Looks like we're failing miserably because we have to get through this province to do it. Either of these two would be good, but Soviets are wandering around, but not pushing down. So we've got that going for us still. And we've got 41 divisions heading through to, not Seoul, uh, to Busan to start preparing their naval invasion of the islands. 143 days, so 131 days from now. Yeah, before the nuclear reactors are ready. And, you know, we haven't started making any... Um, what do you call them? Hey, Yugoslavia's joined the Allies. Because Germany declared on Yugoslavia. Okay. Uh, what were we looking for? We were doing fighters, naval bombers, and CAS. We need strategic bombers as the highest priority of all. And we're not making... Well, we're making one more. So it'll be the strategic bomber factory. Alright, decryption's done. Let's go encryption. 70 days. Yeah, Soviet motorized infantry rolling around. And yeah, we're not looking good. So haven't lost any more guys yet though. And Sea of Japan is the only zone. It's got a lot of ships. We have no other planes yet. That's in our air force. They're not tell us the rest of them. Uh well we wouldn't be able to reach up there with anything but a fleet, which I did switch around production as well to submarines. Only making a couple per year. We need oil and steel. I guess that should probably be the first priority then. Uh, production now, one per month. It's less bad, 25% from the lack of oil. But we just can't ask for it. Not without getting rid of the steel imports. Hmm, might be the time to lose our research bonus by getting rid of free trade. Can't go closed, but we can go limited. We lose 9% research time bonus is the problem. I don't think we're at the point that we have to worry about that quite yet. Uh, what's our plane production rate? Two strategic bombers per year. Fighters are a lot better. And we are starting on a hell of a lot of ports there as well. I'm going to bother repairing the military factors in Northern Malay. Just wait for the first little bit of a fleet to be finished. And I'll switch this out of auto. See if it pops up while that's open. Gonna finish on the 9th. Cannot deploy, of course. Damn it. Maybe that will be the first thing to happen in the new month. Get 1.7 thousand per month. What's the submarine use? Uh, submarine 2. So it's manpower 200. So, with a bit of luck, it'll deploy at the end of the month. In the meantime, the Soviets are getting way too close. They are going to retake it before we can get there. Damn it. Damn it, damn it, damn it. Well, they're out of supply now. So at least we can finish this off. Those bastards, I wanted to hold that port. We we'll, would have gone to China, but we would have got the uh, participation for doing it. Which is now coming back to 
who Norway is 5% I guess the UK has just done a bit more It'd be the whole thing they're doing in Italy alright we just need to get this done and they can sit around for a hell of a lot of years trying to get the reinforcements sorted out and the other thing we're probably going to want to do is grab these guys put them in a new theatre and this theatre would be high priority this would be also what do we rename the um, Japanese invaders Yeah, it has the uh, Gorka rifles in there. We didn't score anyone else new, did we? No. And Indian armor's on the way. Push everybody in. Soviets can bugger off. We're taking it. And we don't get to see what China has taken because they're in a separate war, I guess. Alright, the United States declared war on Germany. Good, that'll be done. Indian armor makes way for Royal Indian Artillery. Keep pushing down that tree. The United States stands against fascism. Join the Allies. Yeah, J um, Japan never did their thing. And done struck the USA. Going for armor. Alright, USA has been called in. Legionary Romania is gone. Philippines now our ally. And yeah, Japan's literally doing its last choice without declaring war in the US. Alright, as soon as that's done. Um research. Right, once these mortars are out, when can we do the last one? Forty four. More than a year still. We might be able to just send everybody over, no matter how weak they are. But I guess we'll stick with the 41. Yeah, we lost another dude from Army 1. And you know what? I'm just going to tell him to do this automatically. Go, go, go. They are super aggressive about it returning ah, to the US of course and we have a ton of planes in reserve now 20, 30, 46 huge numbers for us and no they don't show up here that's just uh, ones that are in you'd think your air force screen would show you what planes you have in reserve alright and pick a random army Average strength, 12%. Production is dockyards. Still cannot deploy them. Don't think there's any way that we can set them up to be the highest priority. Alright, Cairo's fallen. Excuse me? The Italians have pushed out. Well, that's weird. Holy crap, Italy's taken back everything. Alright, well, UK's got a big old blob there. Otherwise, yeah, I blame Yugoslavia. Must have uh, divided the English. Let the Italians come back to the peninsula. And Spain hasn't come in yet. Doing a U-boat effort. He's got to be close to uh, whichever one it is. He's already done alliance with Spain. Okay. I just haven't chosen to join you. Alright, research. No, no, and no. Um, well, we can't put any guys in anyway. Armour doesn't matter. Artillery. Land doctrine would be the best. Defence and organisation. Absolutely. Unfulfilled import request. UK can't get us everything anymore. Well, I guess we'll dump that and we'll look elsewhere. Soviet Union would probably be the best to give us what we need. No. 
yeah, that was wrong what I was saying just then. Um, yeah, we'll get it from the Soviets. All of your factories producing trade goods is not true. Because there's still 15 doing this. Weird. Seems to be a bug. Now, Africa. Still allied or non-aligned. Aside from Libya. And... Allies have this nice little blob through the center here. They just can't utilize it. And as soon as Spain comes in, they'll take Gibraltar and cut off the uh, dudes going past there. All right, finish with that. Could do some radar. It's not going to help us. I guess we want to go with this. All right, was that a 41 tech? Okay. It's not going to take us too long. And right, forgot Turkey joined the Axis. Well, Allies are pushed up there. And then Soviets would have come in where they could as well. On that side, Greece and Comintern. So our guys can't get through. Although, apparently they have access. British Malaya standing there. I think it's his only guy. British Malaya has one guy. Alright, now, our Japanese invaders will be aggressive when they do it. They are two months off, August or so. Pearl Harbor's fallen. Stormed Honolulu, the largest city on the Hawaiian island of Oahu. Never best Pearl Harbor, former headquarters of the US Pacific Fleet, has also fallen. Beleaguered American sailors and marines retreated to Fort Island, blah, blah, blah. But, where are they shipping to? Not doing a naval invasion of Tokyo, are they? If they do that, we can just jump on theirs. Push out from that. Alright. The other thing is... Where are the American fleets? He can't be doing an invasion. He's just got to be landing in China. He's got his ships in the West Emperor chain. Hawaii Ridge, Pacific Line Ridge. He's going around that way. And he's trying to get the Mariana. Alright. Hmm. Well, as long as we have access here, we're good. And Japan's district army will not land in Pusan. He's done something over here, though. You know what? Turn them on. They won't leave anyway. And Japan pushed back on them. Maybe if Japan could take Vladivostok... We could take it off them. I'm starting to lose more guys. So let's just be careful up here now. Not going to stop them all together. But we'll stop losing as much. And there's a bunch of Japanese. Crap. And apparently he killed our mountaineer. It's not cool. Um, Split half of these off. there before them please make them suffer the mountain crossing uh, the river crossing looks promising turn them all back onto their things all right this is not doing china don't want to go around there and do that whole thing again and his thing is extensive conscription so he's got a lot more to do it's down to 70 divisions, though. Soviets, who are at war with Germany, have low 300s. Germany has high 400s. And Italy shouldn't have much. He's only got five because he capitulated. These guys wouldn't have been on core territory, though. They would have been in Germany. So you'd think he'd have more. It's a bit of a mixed bag. French, mostly down there. Still just waiting for the American troops to arrive. They're going to probably do naval invasions across from Sardinia. 
Alright, push on them pretty successfully. We have a river crossing in there as well, unfortunately. Um, get the encirclement on him. And beat him back. Because China holds that. Uh, coming across. Got an encirclement there now. Seems like the right time to do this. Now to kill five, six, seven, eight of his 70 divisions. Good. Then we should still be planning that. Good. They're ready to go. Only 20 divisions. Hopefully we won't get an opportunity. For a little while at least. Alright, and we need to somehow figure out a way to get the ship. Even then, won't be enough. We need the Americans to come over. We can't put planes in the air. Hmm. Alright, artillery, Pax Americana, and concentrated industry. Uh, jungle training, no. Revive the screw guns. And we'll go for one year of advanced landing craft development. Alright. These guys jump back on. So another 12 days. That's good. Hmm. Would love to do that push. Bam, bam, bam. And what's Japan's thing? 90%. Yeah. Non-aggression pact with China. No. Should just be happy that we're helping you kick their ass. German Soviet Wars going the Soviet's way. German Polish War is apparently still Germany's way. And Japanese Chinese War is China's way. Hmm. If the UK were to set us free. Yeah, they got so many things left to do. They're just gonna do all this crap before they get around to uh, Indian independence. That's what we need so that we can change our um, thing. Although, I guess the nukes are coming up soon. All we have to do is nuke them and get that achievement. Then we can break free and just destroy Japan. And they've landed again. Okay. Um up there and well five up there and five down here I guess ten there ten there right go for it and he's encircled us there's a nice little landing he did doesn't have supplies yet though so should be able to do a nice little counter attack on him and as soon as Something happens here, like getting a plane in the air. Uh, if we could get access to some of their facilities, we could throw some planes up. Uh, Philippines, actually. Don't have anything close enough. No, there's no way to do it. Need the Americans to land on some islands. Let's get through. If they're going to do that, it's taking a long time to get up. We're defending okay up here. We just push through. Now they've retaken blood of Ostok, and we've moved in as well. All right. Well, if you can handle that, everybody turns around, takes blood of Ostok. For China. Eleven guys on there, twenty guys on there. It means should be nine guys not doing anything. Can't see their exclamation mark there though. Hmm. Alright, this would be uh, stay normal priority. Alright, if we can at least surround Vladivostok. So the Soviets don't have a chance of pushing in. 
We would like, I guess, these guys to help with that one. And these guys to help out expanding the front line. So we just need a lot more guys actually pushing in there. Decryption and advantage and multiple directions and enemy air superiority is going our way as well. It's going to be Soviet planes in there, which won't show up on that. Come on, guys. How about them? Can't do that one. Uh, yeah, massive defense. And terrible strength. And yeah, we're losing a lot of divisions now. What are these guys? He's level 7, he's level 4, he's level 5. This guy's done most of the fighting. Winter Specialist. That's important. Trickster would be good. Mountaineer, Ranger, Hill Fighter, Desert Fox. So he's good anyway. Except Vladivostok. Uh, how's Korea? I've landed again. Mm -hmm. yeah, nobody we can grab to throw down there. As long as we win these, I guess. And Sea Japan, one enemy ship. Well, the Americans are coming a little closer. Don't know where the bulk of the Japanese fleet is. Pushing them back. Well, we're trying. Because these guys are retreating into it. So that's having bad side effects for them. Okay. Still working on the fleet. That will be done in good time. Still haven't got anybody pushed out. There's no way to make sure that, that happens first that I know of. Alright, counterattack. Less than a day, and it's green. It's not going to stay green. Alright, speed 5. That's just taking too long. Get in there. 40 days, it's more like it. And these guys still get to keep going back and forward. Mm, yeah, it's not going to work for us. I reckon that's going terribly. Uh, these 10 will join this army. Oh, that sucks. Alright. Given that, they're going to do it cautiously when they get the chance. Alright. So, this army's dude is really bad. Just offensive doctrine. He's got 40 guys, so we can't swap him out for this one. Douglas Greasy, as good as that would be. We never actually checked the other guys we got. So we have Pen's leader, Jungle Rat, another Jungle Rat. This guy would be promoted. Still not as good as this guy. And Mr. Ovi, he'll fight him out near Trickster. He's the one who just took out, I think. And that is much better. We'll come around this side, kick them out, and then get back over to Pisan. Vladivostok. No change, except the Soviets are going to get in there. Damn it. Well, encirclement bonus for us now. Encirclement penalty for them, at least. Since we've started it, maybe the Soviets let us keep the thing. And we're going to need to fix this up. That has to stop. That has to stop. Okay, and go when you can. Currently losing, currently winning, currently losing. I don't see any way that would be possible with them. So we are going to get these guys up there. They should be able to make the difference. Since we've uh, been getting them to take all the reinforcements... I think once we're done with this, we're just going to have to disband these armies altogether. Hmm. Might 
get them to do the invasion of Japan as well. But they're going to die so easily. Although once they die, I guess the manpower will uh, go to the boats. Alright, it's doable. 20 days. How long till these guys arrive? Uh, it looks like... Hey, screw guns. 18 days for them. Alright, details. Screw runs, we're getting us down to Monai's army, so we can go for the defense research if we become free. But I'm going to take a short break here, so thanks for watching, hope you're enjoying it. Let me know what you think in the comments, and I hope to see you again soon. See you later.